знакомиты непредсказуемые объекты, поэтому делать точные прогнозы довольно трудно. Размер ее ядра от 1 до 4 километров, и это дает неплохие шансы избежать полного испарения при сближении с Солнцем. Похожая по размерам комета Икея Секи в 1965 году пережила подобное сближение и стала самой яркой кометой 20 века. of long-period sun-raising comets, which means it will pass very close to the sun. On November 28, 2013, the comet will pass within a searing distance of only 1.2 million kilometers, only about three times the distance of the moon from the Earth. What does this mean? Well, comets throughout history have proven notoriously unpredictable. We don't know enough about comet strength and composition to be certain of the final result as a sun-grazing comet approaches our star. But we do know which outcomes are possible. As comet Ison draws near the sun, it may do nothing, simply travel around the sun and leave. It may not survive its flyby around the sun, evaporating without a trace. It may produce a breathtaking tail as it screams by, or it could break up into pieces. Comet Ison is not on a collision course with the Earth. The closest it will ever get to us is 63 million kilometers. During a breakup, comet fragments don't fly off in different directions like shards in a cinematic explosion. They break off, but continue to travel along the path of their parent body. So any pieces would remain far away from us, millions of kilometers away. So if a breakup happens, we may be fortunate enough to witness a beautiful string of pearls in the sky, similar to what Hubble observed when the comet SW3 broke up in 2006. Humanity has a vested interest in the comets in our solar system. They bring both extreme beauty to our night skies as well as present a possible threat to our existence. Comet Ison has already been deemed safe to the Earth. All that's left now. Комета-непредсказуемые-объекты-поэтому-делать-точные-прогнозы-довольно-трудно. Размер ее ядра от 1 до 4 километров, и это дает неплохие шансы избежать полного испарения при сближении с Солнцем. Похожая по размерам комета Икея Секи в 1965 году пережила подобное сближение и стала самой яркой кометой 20 века.